friends, welcome back to Vincent GD's Super Channel G and look at this brand new, easy, custom burning Godzilla that we just made. We actually made it from this incredible Godzilla with Radio Tower action figure from Godzilla vs. Kong. And I'm super excited to share what that looked like and how we did it. And we actually messed up a few times along the way and so the video is probably way longer than you would have expected. But I want to show you just what we needed to get this video, uh, to get this easy custom done. Of course, we needed this Godzilla with the radio tower. Uh, we don't need the radio tower, but this is the one we used from Godzilla vs. Kong. We needed these five paints, and we technically did not need this last red one right here, the glow in the dark one, because it didn't work very well anyway. But we needed this black, and these are the order we put them in. Black, this lipstick red, this outrageous orange, this wicker white, and then this one was optional. And then we used these uh, simple paint brushes from Walmart, and then this, which is kind of washed out right here, but this little simple palette also. Paint palette. Which, open that up right there and you'll see. Okay, so these were the brushes that we used. You'll notice we used our angled one that we used from our um, Skull Crawler Easy Custom and a few other ones, but mainly the big ones to kind of give a base coat for our Burning Godzilla. But you'll notice we even have a little bit of texture here. And I love, love the way this came out. And then again, watching this video, you'll see how many times we actually messed up. Ooh, and we even have some paint that, that smudged right there. So it looks absolutely incredible. And look how different these two action figures look, even though it's the exact same one. So let's take a closer look. But before we get started, guys, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. Give us a big thumbs up if you like Godzilla and you enjoy this video. And what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Is this great? All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent GD's Super Channel G. And this is actually what our final product looked like. I know that we didn't have exactly a clear idea of what the finished product would look like. Let me see. Good, I was able to just scratch this off. But um, and I'm going to reference that multiple times within this video. But I figured that now that I've finished it, I'd go back and edit this part in just to kind of streamline what this looked like. So, um, this was the action figure that we used. Of course, this one is from Walmart and maybe a Walmart exclusive. Uh, we reviewed this action figure prior and looks exactly like this. If you need, here's a UPC code from Playmates and looks absolutely incredible. We just got the part that was missing here from the chest and we glued it here. And then we used this matte acrylic paint we provided a base coat with basically these two brushes and we painted it nice and thick on with just solid black so we covered the entire I'm just giving you a quick overview the entire um, action figure then we used this one to give almost like a dry brush um, washing weathering look and we did not with the grain but uh, kind of like against it right here and so that left this really cool little red on top of black. You'll notice it left this little effect. Ah, I got something that came across here. Is it because I have some on my hand? I think it is. Yeah, I touched the paint on accident. All right, so I'm the one smearing it. <laughs> but um, of course, and then we use this, and I don't know if, if this, because this is a different style of paint than the other ones, but I use this to start painting multiple coats over here on um, on his dorsal fins. 
these spikes that come out in his back. And then I use this white to paint little patterns onto these, if you'll notice, and you'll see on later. And that's what makes this, uh, it look like there's actual designs there on his spines, dorsal fins there. It almost looks like they're on fire. So that's what I use there. And then I tried experimenting with these glow in the dark uh, paints. And let me just say, very disappointed. They did not work well. And they were very runny. And they would not paint the way I wanted them to. So these I ended up passing on. I did try in this video, and you'll see how it failed miserably. But I still ended up using this one for the eyes as he does glow in the dark. So, um, I am gonna show you what that looks like with a black light. I'm gonna turn the light off. And then, we'll pick up right from the beginning before I knew I was gonna make all the mistakes. <laughs> and you'll get to see just how fun this was to make, but also how long it took. I don't know if I should put a um, uh, you know, time-lapse speed version of this video. I probably will later. But I want to put minute for minute so you see exactly how long it took me to do this with the airs because we're going to make a version 2 and hopefully make one different. This was supposed to be one where he's charging up and the other one was supposed to be once he's already doing the blast. So uh, check this out. I have some paint right here. But watch this. Okay, so turn the light off. Look how that glows in the dark. And look at our, here's our black light. And you'll see that his eyes definitely glow in the dark. And that looks pretty fierce. And so, so does um, his dorsal fins. They kind of glow there. But um, look how cool that looks. So I'm going to put our black light right here. And that looks pretty outstanding. So, look at that. I was really, really hoping that these would have panned out. They didn't, because look how cool that looks, because the actual paint is glowing. But we'll, we'll try a different brand. We'll see if, um, if that works. But look how cool our Burning Godzilla looks under the black light. So, all right, let me get the lights back on. Here we are. And there we are. And so too bad you can't really see it right here with the black light, but you see those still glowing. So I'm gonna turn this off. There we go. And I'm gonna take a couple photos and show you exactly how it was in this video to create this monster right here, which actually looks pretty amazing. So check this out. You go ahead and roll back the clock and you'll see what it was like to create this easy custom. All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent G's Super Channel G. Let me set everything aside so that we can just get really organized with what we're going to need. I'm going to show you on screen after the fact because i um, getting organized here. And let's take a look at this Godzilla action figure real quick. He turns right here at the neck slightly. The arms go back and forth. It's really soft plastic here. Same thing here and same thing here. He's got some decent uh, articulation mobility. The back says, Godzilla with radio tower. Harness the awesome power of Godzilla's thunderous roar and devastating tail swipe as the king of the monsters battles Kong to settle an ancient rivalry. Yep. So, it's cool. He comes with this radio tower that I don't think really happens in the movie. But, let's get him out. And let's start um, closing him up and setting a base coat. And you'll see exactly what I mean by that. Careful the scissors, you don't want to accidentally nick or cut him. There we are. Take him out. As a matter of fact, I'm going to set him right here. And so, this is the articulation we have. It's not tons, but it is decent. And he could actually stand up like this if it wasn't for his tail getting in the way. That's alright. And there's his face. I want to try not to mess with the face too much. I'm sorry, the eyes on the face. So, let's seal up the part of his chest that's missing. We'll just pop this on out right here. We'll seal this up with some super glue. 
and I like to use a uh, uh, super glue gel. That way it doesn't. Oops. Whoa. Oh, I did drop our Godzilla. That way um, it, it's not just running everywhere. Let me just make sure I have the it facing in the right direction, and so that I know which way I put it. Okay. If I move this arm, I actually need to put it in that way and drop this down right here. Okay. Cool. So that's what we'll do. Just put a little bit of super glue right here. There we are. And I don't want it to like shoot out the sides and stuff, so. Um, oh, I turned it upside down. Let's put that in. Oh. Hold it down right there. There we are. And there we go. I want this to remain in place. And that should be just fine. It's actually kind of lipped out right here just because you should be able to pull it a little bit if you'd like to take it out. But I don't want to take it out, so I'm actually going to push it a little further in there and have it sit for a couple minutes. And while that sits to seal him up, I'm going to go ahead and set him aside. I'm going to seal up our super glue, which we don't need anymore. And I'm going to start looking at the paint application of this tail. Now, mind you, it is soft and not super soft, but it is definitely flexible, but it doesn't stay in a pose. And these are the colors we're looking at right here. We have this licorice, we have this black, uh, we have this um, black flash, and that one's actually, look, actually glows like metallic, almost, almost iridescent. And this one's actually like a hot fluorescent pink, and I'm like, it's uh, there. It's like, I guess the light doesn't let it shine right. And then we have a white right there that kind of disappears, washes out with um, with the light. So this is, here's the red we're gonna be probably mixing. And then there is our orange, but I think I'm gonna need another color. So for right now, let's go ahead and get our tail and let's start seeing what, um, what having a base coat of black would look like. Let's see which one we use. We don't want to be overkill with too big of a um, brush. So these are two ones that are, you know, they're very simple. You don't need to go all out crazy. And let's go ahead and use, um, let's use this, uh, this one right here. This is our three quarters inch. And we're just gonna go ahead and start laying it down. So I'm gonna decide to use, let's use licorice. And this is a satin finish. You know what, it might be, it might be, satin finish might be too glossy. I definitely don't want it super glossy. Oops, it's my bad for dropping that right there. Set that aside, there we go. And black has a matte finish. I'm definitely looking for a matte finish because I, I don't want it to be shiny. I definitely don't need his tail to be shiny looking. At least not the black part. Okay, so let me set this aside. And I'm just gonna pour some of our black right on over here. There we go. I don't wanna overdo it. I'm actually going to use some of this black right off the bat. Okay, so it's gonna be super simple. Just get some of this black and start applying. There we go. Oop, sorry, wasn't looking where I was painting. <laughs> but just doing this. Okay, nothing too crazy. It's gonna be, we're probably gonna add a, a second coat but let's bring it across and this time we remember to uh, seal our, our paint bottle so it doesn't start drying out while it's waiting for us to use it again. Okay, um, you don't need to be perfect with these strokes but you definitely want to get the most you can out of um, these nice little economy strokes so you're not having to go over and over and over the same parts. 
So if you notice, um, it's only looking kind of glossy because it's wet. Once it starts drying, it's not going to be so crazy and shiny looking, or at least it shouldn't be. There we are. And then wherever there's like little nooks and crannies, you definitely want to make sure your brush goes in through there and kind of go with the flow of that. So like right here, I'll bring this this way and that that way. And you know, it's a single coat, so if we keep brushing too much, it's going to start pulling some of the paint off. But look how far this, this little bit of paint went as far as covering this tail. There we are. So, I'm starting to run out of paint, but you know what? I can probably pull from over here and then just keep painting away. Because there's a lot of paint on the, on the side we started with. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Okay. I don't normally use my palette to sit it down here, but not that big a deal. This is a very inexpensive palette and all washable anyway. And just making it super simple and easy and fun, not going overboard. But look how the tail's starting to look already. We're starting to have the black disappear. We're starting to smooth that out. I'm um, sorry, not the black disappear, the blue disappear and the black cover it up. So let's try and get rid of as much blue as we can. It's okay if it still kind of shows. That's not a big deal. There we go. And look at what's happening in my brush. <laughs> you know, it's not the super high, highest quality brush, um, but it'll get the job done. And it'll do it for cheap. All right, cool. And if we need it to fan back out, we can always just rinse it, in case you're wondering. Okay, very cool. I'm gonna set this down right here. Let's take a look at this. All right, it's already looking pretty good. It should dry in not very long. And once it dries, we will move on to, a, to do a second coat. But for right now, I'm gonna come over here, get a little more paint. I'm actually going to go a little bit further. Let me zoom out. There we are. There we are. It's going to spin this bad boy. Alright. Sorry, I'm going off camera again. Let me zoom out so you can... There we go. So I don't accidentally lead us off the camera again. Okay, you'll notice um, I'm probably going to rinse my brush off, it's going a little crazy, but I'm taking it down like this anyway to get in these little crevices. So not a big deal. Again, not the most expensive brush either. If you notice it's already starting to dry. Too. And I'm just going to take this a little bit to where you can see there's gaps. And then I'll do a second coat in just a, just a few. Very cool. Alright, the very tip of the tail isn't going to be painted yet, but that's not a big deal at all. Okay. So, there we go. And there is the tail. And if you'll notice, compared to our Godzilla, it's definitely a whole nother color. Okay, and so, you know, usually when doing a custom, uh, the skull crawler was pretty easy, but when it's more complex, sometimes you want to remove the arms or the legs so that you can get into little crevices, but in this case, that would be uh, difficult to do. So, let's, um, let's start with the tail down here. While that one's drying, um, let's go ahead and get some of this. Okay, let's just start painting away. And you know, again, this this uh, paintbrush is doing just fine. Now these dorsal fins, these spikes right here on on Godzilla's back, 
those we're gonna focus to paint more like orangish fire color you know the hint of like white and maybe even a little bit of yellow but we're gonna put a base color of black and then we'll just paint over it. so very cool I don't want to go too high I just want to have it already here so that when I paint I can hold it from the bottom there we go I want to do the face last There we go. And already I'm digging how this is turning out. Hopefully, hopefully it comes out as good as I'm I'm imagining in my head. If not, we'll learn and so we can make an even better one the next time. But I'm really happy with how our skull crawler came out. If you haven't seen that one, please check the video out. First chance you get. Let's see if I can put a link here in the description. But if not, just search Super Channel G Custom Skull Crawler. Then that one I'm super happy with how it came out. Look at that. There we go. Let's just keep getting paint on our brush. And the strokes this way will help out because coming this way, look, it's going to leave those gaps right there. So coming with the flow we'll definitely cover those so it's a very basic tip but an effective one okay we are gonna put paint right here on this just in case so that we don't accidentally have blue right here now this part doesn't matter but I just did it just because but the rim right here is what matters okay and you'll notice there's still little sections that don't have good paint and do your best to just catch those getting in here is going to be the harder part out of painting the whole Godzilla and then um, getting these from the inside so this is my recommendation sorry if I went a little bit uh, a little bit blurry there that's it Still fairly simple, just bring some paint across it. And if you need to push it, push it instead of pull, you can do that too. Again, if this were a more expensive brush, I'd probably take a different approach, but it's very inexpensive and we can always replace it if it's damaged. There we go, look at that. And this is starting to look great already and we're doing it black because to make it look how it looked in the night and then we're gonna put our orange and flame colors over this and there we go very cool all right that's already looking great and honestly if we put blue texture on this, I would love to make a heat ray uh, Godzilla that has little texture for blue on here. Have them like in the nighttime. That would be awesome. Maybe that'll be our next project. Let me know if you want us to do that next. So I'm going to keep painting our guy right here. And there we are. Got some happy little torso fins. <laughs> there we go. And you know what? If we paint too much on it, we can always just fix it later. Just happy little mistakes. And it turns out sometimes they end up looking better than you think. Okay. So let's use this to paint up on here. here sorry if I'm going out of uh, focus let me straighten them out a little bit it's just the way I'm holding it that's the awkward part there we are
Okay. Okay, that actually looks awesome. Again, we're gonna do at least two coats. The second coat will cover the blue and so on that's still poking through. Look how great this looks. Okay. So, let's get this part of the leg. And I'll get inside the little nooks and crannies again. Meanwhile, the tail should be pretty dry by now. Pretty dry, and we'll find out shortly. And this one is a little bit more labor intensive than, for example, the um, skull crawler, which was we were just putting a single color to bring out the sc uh, skull part of, of his paint. But this one, we're painting the whole figure. So, definitely a lot more labor involved. But, should be very rewarding once we're done. Look at that. Again, see how this looks? It's not necessarily glossy. This is only glossy because it's wet. But that's how we want it to look. We're done, and if we would have used that glossy or satin finish, um, you know, um, that's why I opted not to go with it. Okay. All right, so let's keep doing the legs. You wanna get around right here. And then we're gonna move the legs later so that we can get the other side. You might have to do this to get in there. And then, there we go. Get his calves. There we go. And there's his feet. All right. And this is actually, I'm really liking the way the paint's going on on this. And again, I'm focused on my figure, so forgive me if it um, falls out of focus for a moment or I go off camera because I'm looking at the figure live in person instead of um, on the camera. Just kind of glance down every now and then to make sure I'm not far off. But how cool is this? Okay, so for now, his feet are just going to look like that. And of course, we'll accent them later. Godzilla is going to look sick. Okay. So, I was just watching Godzilla King of the Monsters again today. And got all hyped up on several parts. Number one, of course, um, this Burning Godzilla part, which is what inspired me to do this. Um... Because when he just goes full on beast mode and and Mothra had already given him like that essence and he started glowing orange and Ghidorah was trying to thinking he was gonna stop him at that point. But he starts charging up and powering up and goes full thermonuclear. And as soon as he gets up and all the metal starts melting around him, you know just how ridiculously hot. Uh, the radiation that he's given off is and the thermonuclear activity and man Ghidorah thought he was gonna come back and put him down for one last time and <clears throat> that blast was unreal 
and just killed him with like three blasts. Boom. And that was it. And that was the end of our dear buddy, King Ghidorah, dethroned. Dethroned. And then there's so many parts of that movie that I absolutely love. When Rodan first shows up and starts chasing them and he's attacking all those jets. Man, that scene is so exciting. That scene is so exciting. I could watch that one over and over and over. Then he does those like barrel rolls and knocks all those jets out. That part was it's one of my favorites. Now after that, Rodan didn't do a whole lot more because he just got owned by the bigger predators, but and even Mothra stabbed him. But um otherwise that was a really epic entrance for him. And was like <laughs> flying over that uh, city in Mexico or whatever. And everybody's just like flying because his the force uh wind that happens because of how huge he is and, and his flight path uh, flight path is <laughs> everybody starts flying. And that looks crazy. Okay, look. It's starting to look great. He's really trying to see what's happening here. There we go. right here hmm. it's hard for me to hold so I'm not gonna go too high up yet here we go so I will set him right here and as far as this goes He's gonna fall over. So let me see if I can move his leg. There we go. There are certain parts that are still wet where basically it's where more paint accumulated. Like there. But otherwise, it's pretty dry. See? For the most part, pretty dry. And I'm gonna go over with our second coat. Well, I'm sorry. First coat right here to, to paint the tip. And then start bringing on that second coat. Okay. And I'm really gonna, it's gonna be a light second coat, but what I wanna do is focus on where I still see blue. Bring that down here. You can see over here where it's, all the spines are, all the spikes, the little dorsal fins and spikes popping out and that's really where I want to make sure that there's no blue left. And of course here in the middle is going to be the hardest place to paint. And may even still be a little wet. Look at that. Wow. So look at this here, clearly there's still blue here. So I'm gonna leave this sitting again because I can't get this side that I'm on. But that's starting to look pretty awesome. Okay. And I'm like, okay, that's still a little wet. How about the tail? Well, the tail's still a little wet down there, but I feel like it's pretty good here. So I'm going to start painting the arm. And let me show you what I'm doing here. And this soft bendy hand is going to be a little harder to get so I'm just going to go with the flow of it see what I'm doing here it's kind of following the, the flow and then for the inside of the hand I'll take care of it like that so same thing with this one let's get a little more paint on our brush follow it 
pattern through the hand like that. Oof. I was like, I thought I accidentally paid and raked it across his face. And I can put a little bit of still wet paint on the tail. And you'll see where I got it on my hand. But nonetheless, there we are. I became a little impatient. I wanted to paint it already. Okay. You'll notice it only takes a few minutes for it to begin drying. Okay. Put a little bit on his head and neck over here. And I'm not going to go all the way to the top. Because I still want to leave the eyes for reference for just a bit. But I might let a little bit get on his jaw. So I can detail that part. Look at this. See what I'm doing there? Cool. So, oof! That's what happened when I, look, touched the wet paint, the blue started coming off. I'm sorry, I keep saying that. The black started coming off and revealing the blue. What I meant to say. There we go, so I'm gonna leave him sitting for a little bit. And, go wash this off my hands. Okay, cool, so give me a second, guys. Doesn't it look awesome already? It sure does. Give me a moment. All right, friends, so we're back, and let me see. We're gonna try, um, now that this is dried a little bit, and even though I got a little bit of blue, I'm pretty satisfied with how this looks. I wanna test to see how washing some red on here would be, and I'll, although I know that um, Burning Godzilla is gonna be more of um, you know orange and yellow and white in the glowing parts, that's just gonna be a little bit of accents, and I like how when you watch the movie, he's like, he does have a red radiating glow coming out. So I wanna see what would happen if I lightly wash this with a um, paintbrush. So give me a second. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, oops, I'm gonna pour a little bit right here of our red. And I'm gonna have, just like it sounds, literally a dry brush and honestly, I think this might be too bright. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some of this. We're literally going to have it as dry as possible. I'm probably even going to get a napkin or something so that um, it doesn't, you know, let me get a tissue or napkin. So it's actually pretty literally dry on the brush. So that's what I'm gonna do. And let's see how it comes across. If it starts coming across just bright red, then I'm gonna mix it a little bit. Well, not bad. That is kind of what I'm looking for. So let's try this. And this is probably gonna take a little longer than I would have liked, but um, let's get more on the brush. See what happens. Okay. So you see what's happening here? Yeah, it's gonna take a little while. But look how it's got this really cool, like reddish maroon effect. So it's kind of softly blending in with the black. And I'm loving what it's doing here with this dry brush effect. Now I'm doing it while it's still, um, it's not long after having been um, dried. So it's a little bit different. So again, I don't want it to be heavy red. You know what, I am gonna put a little more paint on it. Cause look, that's actually coming out pretty awesome. So you know what, maybe I will have a little more paint than just a simple dry brush. And this is one of those happy accidents we were talking about. Look at that, 
That way he can look more like molten lava. Yes! I'm loving it. So... And if it's getting too bright red, I'll just spread it more. Look at that. Oops. There we go. And I'm purposely not doing this um, with the grain like this and going against the grain so that it leaves the black showing. So this is very intentional. And then right there where it's too bright, the red, I'm going to kind of get that out of there. And get that corn out of my face. See? What do you think about that? Again, intentional. There we go. And the little places where there is like blue still showing, it might, you know, get it with some darker looking red. So, the color that starts off bright red, and I don't think I want it that bright, so I'm gonna be dragging that red down. That. How beautiful that looks though. And uh, yeah, I could get it from this side this way, but it wouldn't leave these huge gaps that I'm really enjoying in between his his scaly skin. Look at that. If again, if I go this way, if I start from there and get it this way. It's not going to leave those big black gaps and fade the way it's doing right here. So I'm loving what's happening here. And I'm sure you will too. This is going to be a big deal for our burning Godzilla. I was like, well, that wash look is, um, and um, dry brush effect. I'm not doing just a complete dry brush. I'm actually bringing some paint on here, like more than you would normally. So again, look, too much red right there. So I'm pulling that out. Too much red. Too much red. There we go. See where it's right here? Just brush that out. So guys, tell me what you're thinking about this red already. Look at that. Surprising myself. <laughs> now I can get some of this. Again, too much red. Keep painting it out. We don't want to get every nook and crevice here with our with our red. As a matter of fact, we want to pull it out of some of it. And paint it away. So I know I'm saying the same thing over and over, but I really want to reinforce that. Really, really want to reinforce that. And look, see, because it looks odd having this point of red right here. Let's brush that away. There you go. There we go. We get that red off after all. So. We have a little bit of red here and there it's all right because that's going to give us a little more character for our burning where it's like red hot as a matter of fact we can probably even have a couple of like a little bit of red hot here and there look what do you think about that probably paint across the tips nice little burning look yeah I said against that a moment ago but now I'm improvising and giving a little bit of that fire look yes all right yeah I'm sure you can tell I'm excited so yeah we're gonna do very similar to what we did with a skull crawler now we're gonna paint harder to highlight right there look so, oop, too much paint. 
too much paint. Let me paint this away. But these happy little accidents, I'm actually really enjoying them. So I'm not afraid to be using too much paint on the top. Look at that. What we're going to be having are Burning Godzilla glowing anyway. So if we keep having all these great um, little happy accidents, well, we're probably going to end up with an even better Burning Godzilla than we originally thought. Look at that. This is like, sick. Here. The key is to not just shove it in everywhere. And leave some of that black showing. Look at that. I'm going to brush some of this red away. So we have where it's more black here. And it gets a little more red as it goes on. Same thing here. And I'm going to get this and bring this on some of these little spikes where it's actually red. So I want to make sure that I'm not getting too crazy with the red because then I'm going to need to apply more black again. Very nice. Okay. So that looks awesome. And notice there's a big difference between these two. So let me put a little bit of this red right here. And just kind of let it fade into the black here. I don't want this to be too red here either. There we go. So red more on the top. That fades into that. Oof. So we got a little bit of blue poking out. So I'm like, let me cover that blue with a little bit of red. I'm gonna wash that out right there. Look at that. There we go. How's that? Now you see why we put the black first. Okay. Wouldn't that be cool to have him already that kind of lava-ish color before we put the orange and the uh, the orange and the yellow and the white coming out. So, uh, what do we want to do with that? We want to actually leave it so that it's a little bit brighter. Let's try. Let's try. So, oof. Let's get our brush. Take off some of this paint. Put it over here. And let's see what happens when we paint it down like this. Oh, I have too much on my brush. So I need to hurry up and start brushing it away. There we go. Flick that uh, paint off so it doesn't remain on there. So you don't have that hard. Ah! I just had too much paint on my brush. Let me take a lot of this off. And I need to get this brush as uh, dry as possible. 
and start taking this paint off because I didn't get that really cool effect I was looking for. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, before this dries, I actually want to take some of that off. Look. Wasn't happy with how that went, and that was my fault. My fault. Got a little too excited and had too much paint on my brush. But you notice I have a really cool washing now. Right there. So, I want to do this so that I can still show the black. And there was me making a mistake. That's alright. It's alright. Oops. Okay. Let's get back to back to what we're doing here not having too much paint on our brush there we go so you will have to be patient there we are look at that this is what we're looking for look at that now try and find the blue that we have so I can cover that Oh, and I got a little overzealous. I forgot I still have blue over here. I don't have to get the black back out. But, just making sure that this is working. Get some of our dry brush effect going on here. There we go. And then we have the angle going here so we retain some of that black. There we go. There we go. Where that one was. Ugh way too much this one is making up for, oh my gosh how did I end up with that much my brush Let me brush away as much as I can again another mistake that's all right that's all right we're still gonna love the way it looks when we're done get some of that extra red out extra red out there we go much better too much red here there we are too much red there here and there much better now looks like I got a lot of paint accumulating right here but you know what, when we're done, it's gonna be just fine. See how that red's going on right there? It'll be just fine, especially because we're gonna blend it. So, let's get this. Let's try our paintbrush up more. Let's start bringing this up over here. Much better. Much better, look at that. Much, much better. That's what I'm talking about. So, let's keep it going. Let's take the paint off. And let's go against the grain. Just so we can have the red highlights again. Doesn't that look amazing? Yeah, I'm liking that. This looks awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Definitely looks the color we wanted them to look. And as far as the bright color, that you'll just have to be patient for where his dorsal fins and all that are glowing. We'll do that last. I'm pretty sure you're digging this as much as I am. Now I gotta remember to paint his face. 
black again. So. See how these look if I start coloring these up. Notice the direction I'm going in. I'm not going, and I'm not going, I'm going away. Away to where it would fall off, fall off, fall off. Again, here's this, here's this, and here's this. Because I do want to. Well, this one's missing, and that's blue right there. I'm going to hit some crevices, but not many. Again, as I hit here and hit here, and there leaves gaps where you can see the, the black remains. There we go. You know what? Maybe I want to get a little more red on the inside dorsal fins because those stick out a whole lot more but we'll try it we'll see maybe we'll leave some of that brighter just like we did on the tail maybe we will and let's see how that starts turning out. Look how great this looks. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Grab some more of this. Break it off there. Yes and yes. Get a little bit brighter red. Look at that. Man, this is looking awesome. A little more of this. Break some off there. Get a little more brighter red. go too far on the head because I still need to do the the face more black and as you remember this is what it looked like a moment ago and now it looks like this huge difference look at that take a quick picture of that one side other side so to have this dry brush washing effect. Oh, looks like we got some paint right there. And we're gonna have to come back and do the black right there. And you know what? I didn't want to do the eyes because I was afraid I was gonna do it wrong, but if you look right here, it actually looks like the eyes are kind of a little bit crooked to begin with. So I'll go ahead and just uh, Paint over those anyway, and then we'll get the colors we need. So let's get a little more paint here, and then I'll get the black because not to wash the brush. You know what? I guess I could use a different brush, but I don't want this paint just drying on here either. love to hear what your thoughts are on how this is turning out right now. Let me know in the comment or chat what you think. And obviously I don't want streaks. Look how it's like that. 
how it could be a little streaky. So I'm gonna wait till and just maybe blotch it a little bit. There we go. And this is more like what I want it to be, where it's there we go. More of a washed look than a straight solid paint. So if it didn't look like that, it's probably because I had too much paint on the brush. So here we go. Scrape it off there. And There we go. And I'm going to leave some of that red on there because I do like the way that looks. And there needs to be a little bit of red highlights. We'll come back and do those little bit of red highlights. So, sick. Let's go ahead and paint his face then. Set them right here. And sorry if this video is super long, but I'm gonna show you everything I did. You can always fast forward anyway. Jump to the parts you want. Okay, went ahead and washed my brush just with soap and water and got some of the paint off my hand, some of it. But um, it actually came off pretty easy because it's acrylic, so it dries. And you actually like scrape it off once it dries. Get it off. So it's fairly easy for cleanup. But um, I was thinking about it. I'm like, let's use one of these so I can put some white for the eyes. And I want a thicker, but not too long brush. So I probably use this. Oop. So I flip up. And I'll use this wicker white, even though it's got orange eyes. You know what? Maybe I will use just straight up orange. I don't want to use that pink color yet. So, let's open this bad boy up. Does it have a tear strip? No, it doesn't. Okay, let me just cut this for a second. Give me a second. Okay, cool. So, let me put a little bit of this orange right here. I don't know how much orange I'm gonna end up using or actually need, but get a little bit of this orange right here. And I guess his eyes are already orange. I didn't even think about that. Oof, I have a little bit of then didn't realize I have look at that. Part of my paintbrush coming out. So there's a little bit of bristles. I'm actually gonna, oh, I dropped it. I was gonna just pinch the brush. Sorry. Pinch the brush and see if those are loose bristles or not. Again, not super crazy and they're not coming off. So what am I gonna do? This is an inexpensive brush, so I'm going to. I cut the tip. Look at that. So it wasn't a perfect cut, but it was good enough. Again, because these were only a couple dollars, so they're easy to easily replaced. So yeah, I'm gonna dip this right here. I'm gonna take off as much paint as possible. I'm gonna zoom in. Oh man, I accidentally got some paint already on his leg. Darn it, I'm gonna have to get that off. I'll paint over it, I guess. I didn't even realize I had paint, some of that paint on my hand. But, uh, okay, here we go. Here we go, I'm just gonna dab. Sorry if I'm out of focus here. There we go. So, 
That way his eyes can glow orange in a little bit. Same thing on this side. So we get a little bit of paint. Use the pointy end. And carefully drop paint right in there. Doesn't matter if I go too much because I'm gonna fix the eyes in a little bit anyway. Look how great that looks. I'm gonna come over here, put a little more paint, take care of that pupil. There, sorry, I'm holding it with one hand, paint my other hand. So I'm having to do the focus with my nose. Okay, so that should be good enough for now. And, okay, so I'm gonna set this one aside. I need to get this paint off right here, but probably too late because it's already dried. So the red can stay, but the orange must have been on my finger, look. Make sure that's not coming off. It's not. So, let's get this brush, let's get some of this black. We are just going to simply cover this part again. A little bit of black. Yeah, we're even learning how to do a little bit of touch up with how great that looks. I'm gonna leave that, because that's not a big deal. I'm gonna do some of this minor touch up over here that needs to happen. I know we had some spots here on the arms. Look, our black needs to go in. And then I'm gonna spin the arm to make sure that there's nothing left out that still needs to be painted. And there is, look at that. So, last thing we want is to pose him and then he's got some parts that are exposed blue. So I'm gonna stick that in there. Cover this up right here. Stick some of this. There we go. Look at that. And as far as the head's concerned, well, let me, let me go ahead and do the arms first. So let's turn this and look how much we have exposed right here. There we are. Turn this down and there we have shoulder color exposed right there. So that's pretty good. Look at that. Get a little bit of this blue here. And some of this blue here. And, well, he doesn't, we don't need to see his tongue. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit. We don't need to see his tongue. The teeth, we'll do it later, I guess, last. And what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and just paint here. Doesn't matter that I'm painting over his teeth and everything, that we'll paint later. Look at this. We're going to want to get in as close as I can without messing up on the eye. And if I do, that's all right. And there we go. Get right here in the jaw. Let's paint the mouth. I'm going to come at it from a different angle. And then I'm probably gonna get a thin uh, brush again to, to get this little part. But I do need more paint on my brush. Like that. Okay, turn this over. Let's get some more paint on the brush, but not a whole lot. Scrape off the excess. There we are. And I'm just gonna paint over his tongue for now. So we definitely don't need it to be pink in there. Not for burning Godzilla. Wow, that looks great.
Hmm. Sorry, I'm getting quiet and just really focused on not messing that up too much. Look how awesome that looks. All right, so let me, I don't wanna mess this up. Let me secure my Godzilla. What I'm probably gonna do is stand him up here so that I don't mess it up. So we'll come back to that one. But for this moment, I'm gonna use one of these. Oh! I'm like, here I go dropping them in the paint again. So let me set them over here. I'm like, drop them in the paint, so. I'd rather get paint on our little placemat that we're using here. Just using a cardboard placemat. And we are going to zoom super big in the eye right here. And I'm going to get us painted right here. Okay. So, get some paint. Oops. I can't believe I just did that. I just put orange paint all over our brush. Jeez. Talk about a oof moment. Hmm. No, doesn't matter if it leaves a little bit of orange because he's gonna end up being orangish in the end. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna put a lot of black, and then I'm gonna scrape a lot of it off. See what I'm doing there? And I'm gonna zoom in as tight as I can. Oh, now I don't have enough paint. Duh! Yeah, let me scrape off less. Here we go. It's times like this I wish I had a magnifying glass uh, light, which I would be doing so that you could see, which I used to have, and I don't know where it is. Maybe it's in the storage. Now, if I accidentally paint over his orange eye, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Because we can always just put orange on top of it. Look how great that looks. Even though there's a little blue left, I'm not real concerned about that. Because you can barely tell anyway. And then we're going to put other colors around it. So, just put a little bit more here on the edges. Look how awesome that looks. Now we're gonna do the other side. Let's get some paint on our paintbrush. Get some of these little crevices that we may have missed earlier. And get some more paint by the time we need to do the, the eye socket. Here we go. Saw what I did there. I pushed a little bit of paint into there. I did push a little bit. I'm gonna move this so you can see better. Move this arm out of the way. Pushed it down. And here we go. I'm gonna wanna pull right now more than push. I have just enough paint for that. Now this part may be harder um, than it appears, maybe. But again, we can always fix it with orange paint if we accidentally paint too much later. We don't have to be so careful. We can always just paint the orange dot again later. But I'm just trying to keep it for reference. And a little bit of planning here will go a long way. So that's still pretty good. Look at that. And. That looks pretty awesome. Look at that. Look 
probably put more orange paint on this other one. Make it stand out a little more. All right, so let's close his jaw. And let's put some black paint over here where we need to. Touch it up. We're gonna be a little more generous with the paint down here. So that it gets all these little nooks and crannies. These little spots that I see I missed. Okay. What are your thoughts now? Look. I love it. Okay. So let's set this brush aside. And take this off. Okay. And I guess I could touch up the orange later, but I'm just going to leave a little dot. Make it stand out just a little bit more. There we go. All right. So now we can come back to putting red on our burning Godzilla. What do you think? Okay. Let me wash this brush one more time. Okay, here we go. So let's make sure the jaw looks like it's a little crooked for a moment there. Okay, perfect. How great that looks. All right, so let's start washing our Godzilla again. And we will do this again. Let's scrape off the excess. Uh oh. My brush is still wet. That's the last thing I want is a wet brush. So I'm going to use a different one. Just so I don't accidentally mess up our guy. There we are. That's, uh, I can ill afford to do that. After spending this much time, I'm like, you know, I've invested too much. There you go. Do the inside of his leg. This is coming out great. And the grooves right here are really helping sell this red right here. Perfect. Now, of course, again, a little too much red's coming out, and we just brush it away. Just brush away. And I'm sorry if this video is super long, but you got to see exactly how long it took me to do this. Oh, look at that, 2020. Let's wash some of the feet. Why not? I mean, I'm sorry, the sole, the bottom. it off. That's all right. There we go. Come over here, scrape that off, and then get right here on the top of the thigh. Perfect. Okay, I'm getting excited about being able to put orange and seeing what he looks like because Hey, I'm on this journey with you too. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to look when we're done. I'm pretty confident it'll look great, but I'm not 100% sure what it will look like. I, I am obviously following the vision that I have in my head. Let's see if it comes out like that. And, and this red actually came out better than, than how I was imagining. Look at that. So that way, and there's still like... The reason why I wanted him to look slightly more like glowing lava 
because you know that's my interpretation of how he looked in the movie. And let me see if I can push this back without messing the paint up too much. Oh, there was still blue in there. Ah, that's all right. We're not gonna see that too much, and I'm gonna put more red in there. Look at that. I'll just cover it up with red. We're not gonna see that very much anyway. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, we still gotta do this side. We did this side, but we have not done fully this side. Look at that. Okay. Pull this off. Let's, let's get some of this paint going right here. off. There we go. A little bit more of wash and dry brush here. I'm going to leave some of that red there. That's okay. Because now we're going to, in a little bit, start wanting to put a little more of that on there. Like, like that. So, for highlights. You see that? So we're going to do that in just a little bit. Once we get uh, the rest of this, I'm like, ooh, I was already grabbing this leg and let me grab from the tail instead. So let's get this, let's do this, and let's keep going. And actually, I want to do the inside of the leg first because uh, it's harder to reach. Ooh, too much paint. Okay. There we go. That looks awesome. There we go. All right. Okay, a little too bright. Keep painting it away. Too bright. If that keeps happening too many times in a row, that means I'm rushing. So I need to slow down. Slow down, Vince. Get there soon enough. I'm just excited to see what it's gonna look like. You know? The skull crawler came out tons better than I had hoped. And with just one simple color. Same thing here. Like, well, this one is not one simple color, I'll tell you that much, but break it down to make this as easy as possible. <clears throat> there we go. Oof. Just what I just talked about. Great. Let's do the foot. Well, the bottom of the foot, I should say. Okay. It's definitely getting there. Thank you guys also. I'm not ending the video at all, even though I thank you at the end of the videos. I'm just, we're hanging out with us. This is always a lot of fun for me. Us just getting to hang out. All right, so now it's starting to get serious. Because again, we get closer to the head and that's where it's 
for the most important action is going to be taking place. Oof. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. For these gills right here, let's, uh, let's make sure we highlight those pretty well. But still leave that black there. I want to be careful around the crevices around right here because they'll they'll end up outlining the piece that's supposed to come out, and that's not what we want to do. So tread carefully here. some blue right here in the hand. So that's what I'm gonna do, do it like that. Same thing with this one, it's a little smooth right here. So because it's smoother on the inside of the arm, it's not gonna have this little wash look as much because it's gonna be smooth and just end up raking across. So just be mindful of that. So use less paint and brush it away as much as possible. Sorry, I do notice that when I'm concentrating on these small little parts, I'm definitely not speaking as much. But it's because I gotta use more of my brain to make sure I don't mess up terribly. Okay, I'm happy with that. Just need a little more right here. the head and neck with more paint. So I'm gonna ask for us to kind of softly do from the very top like this, look at that. Do this from here. Do this from here and we're gonna put some of it actually in the mouth. As long as it doesn't have a big, hard, red um, line. Ooh, look, we missed some of the leg. And just brush, 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 brush. Very cool.
Very awesome. Look at that. Sorry if I went out of focus. My bad. <laughs> okay. So we're just about done with our red little washing right here. Now we're going to start adding highlights, including the orange. Nice. How's that? Let's take a close look all around. Make sure we didn't miss huge gaps. Okay, okay. We are missing a little bit right in here. So, what I'm going to do here is add highlights, what we missed anyway, and do it kind of like it's glowing red, look. So I'm going to lava that up a little bit. Again, it's our figure. If it looks a little different and still looks cool, that's, that's the goal. To look cool. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So now we're going to give a little bit of red highlights like we did right here. I'm going to do that by going like this, taking a good amount of the paint off, but not all of it. And we're going to allow a little bit of highlighting to just happen. Watch. Ah, I don't have enough paint. Maybe I just need more paint. Let me, right here where it's got a lot of paint, and scrape off half of it. And I'm looking for like little places where it's raised. And here's what we're gonna do with the with his dorsal fins. We're gonna begin to paint those a little brighter with red and then start scraping that red off. So I'm gonna bring it down to here, bring it down to here, bring it down to here. You see what we're doing here? Yes you do. And we're gonna blend it in right here. We're gonna make sure our paint doesn't look streaky. Very nice. What do you think about that? Okay. So now we're gonna go to this side, do the exact same thing. Make some paint here. And bring this. See what we're doing? And we're causing little swirls right here. This one did better than the other side. That way it's not just, just not um, solid lines coming down across like that. That would be not as good. Look at that. Let's bring some more paint in. There we go. Okay, so you see what we're doing here. Nice. Now we're going to bring some more red over here. There we are. Hello. 
Okay, what do you think? And this is just so that when we do the orange, it'll be even more awesome. Make sure you bring it all the way to over here. Make sure there's not huge gaps of black, which look awkward. Fill those in. Look how awesome this looks. So there's a huge gap of black right here. Awesome. I'm streaky right here, so I'm going to fix that up. Streaky right here. Let's go back to this side. Let's do the same thing. Okay, very nice. Here we are. And look how, look how awesome these are looking. We haven't even gotten to the orange yet. Let's get this side right here. A little brighter. Okay, look at that. So now we just gotta get the opposite sides. Or should I say the insides? Same thing here. Okay, nice. I still want them kinda dark and still kind of textured. So, how do you think that looks? I think it looks pretty awesome. Okay. So now, we're gonna let that dry a little bit. And let's do some of that right here. Come back to bring these highlights. Very cool, we're gonna put more paint on our brush. And there we are. Make sure it's nice and bright. Little highlights. It's okay if your paint kinda of goes a little in odd places. We can always just blend. Always just blend. See? And it starts getting weird. And just blend it. Now these are gonna have brighter. We're gonna take some of this paint off. These lines are too hard right here. Perfect. And so let's blend this a little better right here. Cool. So look how our Godzilla's starting to look. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Okay, now is gonna be the hardest part. We're gonna let this dry for a minute. I'm gonna wash this brush and we're gonna start using orange and that's the scary part. Scary. Give me a second, guys. All right, well, here we go. So, so far we've used this black. We've used this uh, lipstick red. We've used this, oops, this satin acrylic uh, outrageous orange. And we're gonna be using, more than likely, this white also. You know what? Wouldn't it be cool if we used this instead to see how it glows in the dark? You know what, does it glow in the dark? It does, but it ends up glowing kind of like greenish. Hmm. You know what? Maybe. We'll see. All right. So let's get some orange on our Godzilla. Let's see if the paint's drying here. And let's see what washing 
will look like with a little bit of orange or will it look too crazy? Hmm. Let's chance it. Let's chance it. Here we are. Let's get my Godzilla over here. And you know what? Let me be proud of my Godzilla for a second before I take him to the next level. So, here we are. Look how great he looks. Look at that. And it's crazy how it started off as that. Let me just put him over here. Look at that, take a quick picture. Okay. Let me um, get all set up. Okay. Let's bring this over right here. Let's see what a little bit, a little bit touch of washing might do. Well, is it going to look like that? Because I don't want it to look that flat, actually. Hmm. I'm glad I tested it. I don't want it to look that flat, do I? Well, hmm. Let's see what this might look like. What do you think, guys? I'm saying yes. Look how it started to fade and has red showing. So, uh, that's a definite yes. <laughs> okay, so, we will be doing this dry brush wash look for the rest of our burning Godzilla. We're gonna do the same thing we do with the red, except we're gonna let, uh, you know, some of that red shine through. And it's gonna be really interesting how it fades to the red part right there, look at that. So I'm gonna leave that untouched, except I'm gonna color some of the spines the orange. So. I didn't mean that to sound like Starfire or whatever. I'm gonna color it the orange. <laughs> okay. So, man, again, like I said, I had vision in my head and this is starting to come out even better than that. This did take a while and is taking a while, but totally worth it. What do you think? I say yes. Now I have to be careful not to put too much paint. Look how it started, a lot of paint started accumulating here, not in other places, so be careful about that. And I'm still liking the way that looks. I might put a smidge more paint over here just so it kind of evens it out a little but otherwise looks great um, there we are now, I'm almost sad to see this red Godzilla go away I probably want to buy one of these and just make them just a red Godzilla because, yeah, that actually looks awesome. I'm sure you agree, because I'm like, if you're seeing what I'm seeing, absolutely. Okay, perfect. This is definitely coming out well.
It's just that it's still subtle enough. Because I didn't want to make this uh, Burning Godzilla that he's blasting. I wanted to make this uh, Burning Godzilla he's charging. So I guess, let me just make that part clear. The blasting, he starts to wash out with a bunch of white and, uh, and yellow. But I want him charging. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. What do we think of that? Does it look too crazy? Now, we are going to get these just like we, I'm gonna use the same brush I used for a skull crawler. And I am going to brush these extra orange. Extra, extra, extra orange. It's kind of taking my paint off, which is unfortunate. Gotta let it sit for a second. There we go. Okay, very nice. Okay, you see what I'm doing here, right? We're gonna leave some of that red right there. And we're gonna be bringing this orange right here. Now it's a little more difficult because the red is extra powerful. If we bring just the right amount of paint, let's mix together. There we go. Okay. So why is my orange not sticking out as much as I thought it would? I guess it's just because I'm gonna need multiple coats. And it's dark reddish black. Okay, so that's what I'll just expect it to be. Because it's just so dark on top, uh, underneath. Perfect. Okay. Okay, guys, tell me what you think of this. And is it too much orange? because I really like the way this looks. Hmm. So before I continue any further, let me figure out what I wanna do here because I want him still red with just hints of orange charging or do I want his skin to actually be this color? So let's take a look to see what it would be like with this orange. Um, what if we had a glowing pink like that? Hmm. Tell you what, let me check some. Give me a second. Yeah, I check to see about the glow in the dark part, but all right. Let's try one of these and see how it looks. And look how it's dark orange, but then when it blends with the red, it uh, starts turn changing darker so obviously that just means we're gonna need more than one coat but let's try it out let's try it out I think I just fell too much in love with the red so let's let's do multiple coats and let me not stay married to the red because the whole point is to get a, a 
burning Godzilla. There we are. So, let's continue with the transformation. There we are. Let's keep spreading our color around. Great. So I think that looks pretty good actually. And now I'm more excited. Maybe I leave the body that sort of reddish black, which means I would need to repaint the tail. So we'll find out. We'll see how this turns out. We do the other side and see what I think. I'm liking it. Just leave him red. Yep, I think I'm starting to like that idea. The red and black. Let me know what you think, but like, you wanna comment now? You wanna tell me at the end of the video which one you liked better? But are you digging this red and black as much as I am? Which means I need to get another one of these figures and make another one. That just remains red and black. Very cool, look at that. Okay, we'll come back and do another coat in a minute. Let's do the other side. Yeah, that'll work. We're gonna leave him like that. I love this angled brush because I can get creative with how I'm painting, not just straight on the bottom. There we are. So you see how I'm painting on here and I'm using the angle right here to my advantage. And I can turn the brush if I need to. I'm not having to do a lot of that, but just highlighting that. Okay, cool. Uh oh. Looks like that paint may have sat there too long. Let me bring some over here. So this paint started drying out and wasn't spreading as well as I would have liked. So I'm going to get some fresh paint right here. There we go. No, it didn't spread too well on top of that old paint that I already had there, but it's all right. We'll fix it. Come on, looking like cheese. Cheddar cheese. Okay, there we are. Perfect. Get right here behind the neck. Let's wash behind the ears. Almost literally, except he doesn't have ears. At least not in the typical sense where they stick out. Which is why you'd have to wash behind the ears. Okay. And I'm absolutely loving the way this looks. So again, we'll need to go back and repaint the tail. Or you know what, we could fade it if we like the way it looks. Fade it into that color. I don't know, I think the red would be better. Okay, all right. Okay, perfect. To that. Okay, 
think that looks awesome. And let's give this bad boy another coat of paint now that this one's already started drying on this side. And this orange should get brighter. Should get. And we may need more than two coats. So let's find out. There we go. Well, it is getting slightly brighter. So we might need more than two coats. Okay, very nice. Obviously you can see where it's more orange here than it is here. So I guess we'll come back for a third coat in a little bit. Very, very nice. And I do want to leave it kind of chunky. I don't want to leave it streaky, but I want to leave it chunky. Because there are patterns, um, or at least prints that are on his... Uh, dorsal fins on his spines back here. Spikes. And he's got a cool little pattern which I wanted to do with like white. And you know not crazy intricate pattern but you know just a little bit of design to show some of that. I think that would look great. That was such an epic part. All right, so you see what we're doing here. We're still a little bit streaky, unfortunately, but it still looks great. And we will blend that in to the body in just a bit. There we are. A little bit here, a little bit here. We'll go back and notice these are not as orange. So by the time the other one, by the time the other one's dry, we should be good to put one more coat where they're going to turn out really orange. Awesome. Okay, I hope you're definitely loving this as much as I am and I'm sorry this video is so long but you're watching minute for minute I guess I can do a time-lapse video version of this if you like but might be unnecessary you can just skip to the parts you want anyway maybe I'll do the time-lapse on the same video you let me know well, I guess you can't let me know before, but you can let me know after if you liked it. And then I can do that going forward with the customs we do. Okay, perfect. Look at that. And let's put some more paint on these over here. Oof. Had excess paint over there. Here we are. This paint seems to be a little thinner than the other ones. I don't know. I, maybe it's just because it's going on something that's so dark. I don't know. But okay, perfect. What do you think about that? It looks awesome. Hmm. It does look awesome. Oops. I almost painted my camera. <laughs> should we just leave them like that? Or should we... Do 
I like how the red is coming out on this side? I think I do. <laughs> I think I do. Okay. So. Nope. Nope. Not dry yet. So let me give that a moment to let that dry. And then. Paint that back with red. Let's see if we. I don't know how red it's gonna get if I put that on top. I might have to put black again, which is unfortunate. Yeah. It is what it is. Get some of this red. Let's see if it starts coming out extra brighter red. It sure does. I don't want it that bright red. Dang it. Okay. Thought I'd test it, and this is where you get to see the experiment, experimental side of our project. I mean, it looks cool, but we're just getting brighter and brighter red. Okay. So. that one again. The whole tail again. Mm, as far as clearly this burning Godzilla is charging. Maybe we do orange in here. Yeah, I guess we have to. I was like hoping to not have to do it because I painted those earlier, but yeah, it's better if we do. There's too much inconsistency. There we are. I need to spread some of this orange, which isn't blending well. There we go. Now I will say this, this orange, I don't know if it's the color, or the paint, but I wasn't as satisfied with this orange as I was the other colors. So maybe we'll try this again after we've done it. And now we'll know what, what we might do different next time. better. Okay. Alright. I'm loving that. Now we just gotta fix the tail. Maybe. Maybe brighten the eye after all. But okay. give it a second to dry. And try to figure out if I just paint the tail all over again from zero. Oof. Probably have to. That's all right. Definitely want to do it right. So, let's go ahead and take care of this. Like, is this paint dry yet? So, let's get this. This is for our red. And I'm going to wash this. Okay. Be right back. All right, and so I've actually already begun to, I'm gonna see if I can maybe just paint the outsides and bottom so I don't have to do the whole thing. Maybe, maybe not. So I can keep the top part 
more or less, but um, I'm unsure, and I guess we'll find out, but um, I'm like, maybe I should just, maybe I should skip over this part, but I was like, nah, because if you had made the same mistake, I want you to learn from what I'm doing here, because there's plenty of times where I've made huge mistakes like this, you know, I was ambitious, didn't pan out the way I wanted, and we just go back and we repaint. But sometimes you don't always have to repaint the whole thing, is what I'm saying. So I'm going to repaint the black on almost everything. And I'm going to repaint the red over the black. And I'm going to try and leave these uh, spikes right here coming out of them if I can. So remember, the black has to be solid and basically cover everything it touches. And then the red will be the washed on the top. So the black is going to get a lot of attention and be placed in the little nooks and crannies. So don't forget about that. So it's actually moving along pretty quickly and pretty nicely. Maybe we can. Can I fit this in here? No, it's not that. It's not that deep. There we are. Just move this along and I'm sorry you're having to see me fix my air. But that's okay. Because you know we did it with the intention of maybe if we try this it'd be really cool. Better that we tried it and failed than not tried it and always wonder what would have happened. So, that's how I feel about it. Okay, we're almost done with this anyway. We'll let this sit while we apply more orange to our burning Godzilla. Because that orange clearly needed multiple, multiple coats. Okay, and this black is going on really well. There we go, look how close we are. Ah, my bad. Definitely didn't mean to touch it to have some of the paint coming off. There we go. We're gonna let this sit. And just do a little bit of. Oh, I guess I did bring it all the way up there. There we are. And let this one sit for a little bit. Okay. So there's that. And now. Let's get back to our main event. And you know what, I do have paint on my hands. Let me make sure it's not gonna come off on our figure. Okay, perfect, that would be disastrous. Okay, let's get back to our orange. And now that it's, well, it's not fully dry. But it should be good enough for me. So, look at that. It's just barely getting one shade lighter every time we go over it, <laughs> which is pretty funny actually. One shade lighter every time we go over it. So, I guess you're going to have to be patient with the orange. And you know what? Now it's time to be a little more generous with the orange as long as we can spread it well. There we go. And we don't want it clumpy. If it's clumpy, you didn't spread it good enough. 
or the paint's drying. You need to be mindful that either here or here. So clumpy paint, no, no. There we go. Okay, this is getting better and better every time we go over it. And hopefully that black will be pretty, pretty well dry by the time we finish this. Okay, so that looks pretty great. There we go. Kind of clumped over here, so let me spread that bad boy around a little bit. And wow, okay, so I can see the difference because of how great this looks versus how this looks. So, let me get back to painting thick. There we go, thick. Perfect. Well, it is taking a while for the orange, but it's getting there. Had I known that, obviously I may not have colored it. This, the I would have learned not to put the black and the red first. I probably would have colored it white then. Because the white would have lightened the blue. It wouldn't have been perfect, but um, it would have been easier to work with and put multiple coats on. So there's something I learned while doing this Godzilla, um, custom Godzilla. There we go. I'm definitely loving how much better it keeps coming out every time we add more paint. Very nice. Okay. How's that? Yeah, buddy. So that was the issue we had with painting on here is that the orange isn't thick and dark enough to really make some damage. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna come back. Ah! Started painting on the box over here. Leave him right here. That looks great. And let's see how our black paint is doing. Oof. It's doing pretty good actually. It's actually almost dry, but now I gotta put. I don't have to put uh, anything on it because it's red right there. Okay, so I will come back in a few minutes. And look how great that. Burning Godzilla looks next to our uh, blue heat ray Godzilla. All right, down the home stretch. Let's go ahead and finish. Ooh, where's the other brush I just had? Now, nah, whatever, we'll use this one. We will wash this off slightly. All right, just like we did a little while ago. And then we will finish off our Burning Godzilla by adding a little bit of detail to his spikes coming out of his back. Okay, so this should be good. We just need to get some of the some of this paint. Sorry, we're having to do this a second time, but it is necessary, right? Definitely don't want to just end it halfway. And I get it, this won't be half, but you know what I'm saying. Okay. So, 
We're still down the home stretch. Look how cool this looks, you know. Just fixing what we, what we, uh, you know, got ambitious. Tried it, tried something, didn't work. That's all right. At least we know now. For next time, because you know what, I would like to make a second Burning Godzilla. And hopefully, you're interested in me doing that. And in that one, what I want to do is actually have where he is fully charged and he's doing the blasts. Because I think that would be really awesome and a lot of fun. This one was the one that I just wanted, really wanted him charging. Sorry, I can't stop doing that sound because that sound is fun to do. Try it. That blast is... What even makes it even more fun is at the end when you're all Okay. Looks like we redeemed this part. You just gotta take with some of the excess over here. Let it sit for a little bit. Perfect. Okay, now it matches our Godzilla again. Okay, so let's see what it would look like if we had extreme detail with one of these, right? Let's see what would happen. Let's put this right in, oops. Squirt it off the lid instead. Mm, I'm about to cut it. Which is not that big a deal. Okay. Let's pour this right here. Let's see what would happen if we made some really cool like designs here. Mm. Mm. This might prove to be harder than I thought. It'll be fine, it'll be easy. It's not. <laughs> Actually, a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take a different approach. Let's wipe this off. Ugh, I didn't mean to take that orange off. But that's alright. Let's see. Hmm. What can I do? Maybe that brush was just too hard. Let's try a different one. Let's try this one. Let's see what happens if I try to draw a couple designs on here. Paint's actually very liquidy. Which is unfortunate because it doesn't paint on very well. Hmm. I guess that's all right. Okay, you see what I'm doing here, right? Do this along the edges also. And I want to make this look like those little patterns that we've seen Godzilla have. And this is the one where I'm using the glow in the dark paint. Does that look cool or does it not? <clears throat> and I wonder if it's strong enough to be seen. As far as glow in the dark. So I'm gonna put a, a 
thick coat on the edges so that it glows and see what happens. This is another one of these experiments. This one I think is uh, very much worth trying. But it's probably going to take me a little while to do. That's the only bad part. And is it going to be worth it? Oof, that didn't make it better, it made it worse. This paint's too thin. I mean, I like it. So let's try it. And I'm sorry this is gonna take a while, so as if this video wasn't already long enough. Okay, you see what I'm doing here, right? But it also makes <clears throat> these dorsal fins pop, makes them stand out. There you go. And you know what? I like that one, but not for the edge around. So I'll, let me use this. Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. Let me see if this is going to be too difficult to do, especially because this paint is running. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm just going to have to stick to this. And you're just going to have to put up with me doing it at this speed. Now, I don't want to rush it. But... Well, that's it. I just don't want to rush it. Okay, you see what I'm doing? I'm just making like little patterns of lines that are almost almost in the style of veins. That way you'll know like what I'm shooting for. That way that you can try it. does require a little bit of my concentration. So why this color? Because this color is glow in the dark. And hmm. but this paint is definitely not working with me. So Maybe we can find a thicker one next time. Okay, let's try this a few more times. Let's see if... I'm like trying to barely touch. So the paint kind of smears on because it's not writing very well, see? Yet still, this is actually still coming out all right. I'm having to paint this very, very softly. You know what, I am liking that. And I think you might be too, it's actually really cool. And maybe black to outline it? I don't know, because the this glow isn't coming out the way I'd hoped. But nonetheless, we're going to finish. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> Very cool. I'm starting to like this more and more the more I look at it. And I wonder if if I go bring the black light if it'll work. Let me try getting it real quick. Maybe that'll make us even happier. Because I'm like, hmm. Okay, give me a second. Oh like, yeah? Run on the fall. Okay, give me a second, guys. Okay. Awesome. So, I mean, hmm. It's working. Kind of. I'm not. It settles weird. You know what? Let me just try the white. Because this is what it looked like here. That's not painting on. It looks like frosting. <laughs> I am not happy with the frosting look. So let's see what white looks like. Disappointed in that frosting look. And let's see what this, which was supposed to be orange, but I thought it was. I guess I turns out to be red. Ah, and it's definitely not red. Look how runny it is. So, I guess that's not good either. But, hmm. <laughs> Maybe we should just leave it at this. And um, let's see what happens if we use white, right? Ah! I accidentally got my finger in this. Not good. Get that off, otherwise I'm gonna end up spreading it all over our Godzilla. Okay, let's try white. See if this actually helps. It sure does. Look at that. It's a huge difference. Yeah. All that struggling that we had with, with that glow in the dark color. This is way better. And look how the paint's on. Jeez. Let me let me see if it glows in the dark too though. That, that was kind of the point. Give me a second. Okay. So I'm gonna try doing the paint of white on this side now. Squiggles as far as not necessarily being exact patterns, but we have like shapes like this that I would encourage you to do. See that? Just do a little bit here. And almost be like um, the the veins on a on a plant. It's kind of how I would describe it. This 
one's not completely dry and the orange is starting to mix. Okay, perfect. That'll work. Perfect. Okay, as far as these over here. What do you think about that? I'm excited about seeing the final product, which has seemed so far away with the setbacks, but we're almost there. Okay. All right. So I should be able to, nah, I'm gonna let it fully dry. So give that like 10, 15 minutes. Give me a moment. All right, now let's, ah. this side should be good. The other side still needs a little bit of time. But, um, at least we can get this one down. Okay, awesome. I'm just saying, it does give it a nice little texture. Look at that. So, happy accident. Yep. Okay. We'll definitely be doing that little trick again. down further to here. Keep overloading our brush with paint. Look at that. Absolutely loving it. I hope you are too because it looks Pretty darn cool, look at that. Pretty darn cool. And there we are. It gives us some cool little highlights. It makes the orange pop even louder. And Probably should have done that even sooner, but I didn't know that the pattern was going to come out that cool. Look at that. Could probably even use a little more white. I can be more picky next time. Because now that this is actually a, uh, something that came about by accident, I didn't know that it was going to look this cool. And now I'm more critical of it. probably just put more orange paint where there's not enough white paint underneath and that should suffice like right here I wish there was more white I just put more orange there we go look how cool that looks oh this is one of the ones that I want wanted more white so I'll just put more orange. There you go. Okay. 
Argentina looks amazing actually. Compared to the other side, which you need that to dry again still. So let's set this aside. There we are. How crazy that looks. And let's start getting some orange onto here. Wow, this is going on a little too easy. We did something right. Very nice. It's crazy how easily it's going on now. Let's turn our brush the other side. And of course, because of the white, it's really popping. not just blending. Cool. Show a little bit like this. Let's go to the other side. Man. Now it's gonna look amazing again. that was right there. Get the back sides and here's a bunch of white that I missed on the other side. Okay, perfect. Ooh, and I didn't put white on the other side. On this side right here, that's all right. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, now we gotta wait for the other side again. Wonder if it's good enough to just start painting over. Not oh, close enough. Hmm, close enough is not good enough. So I'm gonna let that wait. And what else do we need? Uh, hmm. I just don't want to mess it up. So, I'll leave it as it is. What about the jaw? What if we put a little bit of orange in there? If we put some of this glow in the dark pink. That might work. There we go. And you'll notice me get quiet again because I'm like, this is a little harder than it looks. Especially because this pink paint is not that good. Uh, it's not letting me spread it. So this neon paint is no good. I'll just go ahead and say that. It might work on other services, but it doesn't work where I need it to. This jaw's a little crooked. And let's give him let's give him the orange teeth he deserves. They're glowing, so let's see if we can just softly do that. Some white mixed in on it. Didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Let's 
Not exactly what I wanted, but you know what? It'll do. And let's see this side. I'm gonna hold it upside down like that. I'm gonna get this brush. I'm gonna just kind of do that. And let it barely even touch these teeth. Do that. Let's come at it from this other angle. Look at that. You know what? If we want to do anything for you know, his claws. I know his claws are supposed to stay blackish. Should I just paint those black again? Maybe so. Maybe while we wait. We'll do that. Just because it looks like it would be cool. This will work. Just because it makes it look more fierce. And like orange wouldn't have worked very well. Look at that. Hand painted lizard talons. <laughs> so that looks cool. As does this. So, let's bring this leg forward so I can get this one a little bit better. There we go. So that looks awesome. Let's see this one. Let's push that one back. And there we go. That looks awesome. Okay. Is there anything else we want to do this figure for now? Other than wait for this to finally dry. I'm touching the other side of it. Nope. So, let's see. Are these good enough to paint in it? I think so. Awesome. Now we're basically running down here. Ah, uh, I was wrong. Okay. <laughs> it's getting too late. It's practically three in the morning now that I'm making this so I'm gonna give this a ten more minutes to dry I'll wash my hands start transferring these video files 
And hopefully, again, this video isn't three hours long now. Give me a second, guys. Alright, so finally, should be good to paint uh, the rest. Now that we've given a little bit of time to dry. There we are. Okay, perfect. There we are, guys. And we're getting down to the home stretch. I know I've probably said that a million times, but I've also had some setbacks, which has been interesting. Couple of errors, a couple of times we learned from what we did and didn't want. And the experimenting was kind of fun. So, but after I get this painted, we will stop right there. Okay, look at that. And there we are. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm like, oh. I guess I'm gonna look for a little imperfections that need to be touched up on. There we are. There we are. Just had to clean this up a little bit. And that should be plenty good. All right. Okay, we'll find that as our stopping point. And we'll put this tail on here. I'm gonna do this twist. think about that and that looks pretty outstanding actually and we'll get just a little bit more orange right here just so we can have a little more clean on both sides okay what do you think about that guys? Okay, and as a quick comparison, here is our brand new custom Burning Godzilla, which looks absolutely incredible, next to, of course, the action figure that he originated from, the Godzilla, of course, the one with the radio tower right here. So that's him right next to it, and uh, him so you can compare side by side. Pretty awesome, right? And of course we have this Godzilla right here, Heat Ray Godzilla. This one's black, and I'm getting starting to get paint on these guys. <laughs> and then we have the Hong Kong Lights Godzilla right here, which the legs have a little bit of problems staying stiff, but there we go. And I'm excited to also have side by side our other Easy Custom, which is this one was we did very uh, it was a lot simpler to do. And we could probably even spruce it up even more now that we've seen how far we've gone to customize this Godzilla. But this skull crawler definitely looks outstanding. Still proud of how great that looks. So next, I think you're probably gonna want us to do Kong also, right? So let us know in the comments. Well, it took us forever to do. 
and so that way we can be sure of what we needed so we definitely needed this uh, it's Godzilla here Godzilla with a radio tower we needed black and this was one we got at Walmart apple barrel black matte acrylic paint quick drying we got this lipstick red enamels that's folk art look at that and that's a gloss finished paint uh, we did decided not to use this one we use this outrageous orange which you know what maybe there's a uh, since this one is a multi-surface indoor outdoor maybe there's a different orange we could have used and maybe that's why it was difficult for us to have so many um, had to really layer that on and then we use this white we use this wicker white superior finish and again who knows I don't know but notice how those look a little different and you know what we did use a touch of this I don't even know if we really necessarily need this we probably don't so we really can get away with just those we used a few of these brushes now we didn't need all that many we just chose to and then we use a little um uh, move this over here um we use the palette right here so i want to thank you for hanging out with us here today guys and this was a lot of fun if you have not already subscribed to our channel please subscribe below hit the notification bell next to you notified every time we have a new video come out talk to us in the comments below we'd love to hear from let us know where in the world you're watching from and give us a big thumbs up um if you like godzilla and if you had a good time with this custom godzilla figure so until next time guys thanks for watching vincent gd's super channel g peace but you know what how about a couple of them we spend so much time on it why don't we admire it a little bit more <laughs> very cool thanks again guys peace